All right, so I have one hold question. Up, hold up. Wait, wait, you gotta change the scenes. There we go. Okay, so <laughs> whenever it loads. I hope it didn't break. All right, there we go. There we go. All right, hey, so let's go. Um, the first question I have for you. It's yeah. kind of the most important one I have. Sure. Why do you look so sad? Uh. You just won, right? That was like one of the most grueling sets I've ever played. I mean, it was three sets. I like, played winners finals, losers finals, or, or not losers finals, but both sets of grands. Like that was so stressful. Fuck. I can't believe I won. Jesus. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, that's my answer for why I feel why I look sad. So it's still a little bit of a you're still in game mode. Yeah. Very much so. All right. Um, that is, that's yeah. I think it was really pivotal that I took that. Uh, game four like obviously it was because otherwise I would have lost right there but like that gave me so much momentum and it made me feel like really confident in like what I wanted to do and what I wanted to avoid and that like carried over to game five um so you were uh, I actually missed most of it were you sitting on winner's side I was winner's side and he reset yeah I will he reset 3-1 yeah I will say I won 3 from experience it's so hard being a winner's side yeah no it's so hard. I mean this is the second time I've had to do it and yeah, it's very hard. There's so much pressure because everyone wants the loser to make it. No, I mean not always. Sometimes people just want to go home. <laughs> yeah, and like the last time it happened to me, it was me versus Mega, and everyone wanted me to win and not Mega. So I guess yeah, you're right. Sometimes it's not the case. Hey Chris, how was your event? Did you network? Did you did you network? Oh, okay, yeah, you're, you're, no, no, you're no. doing that now, huh? It doesn't work. What you need to do is you need to take um, the wet towel yeah, and Yeah, uh, should we, like, look through bracket or, like, anything? Oh, uh, you know, we can look through bracket, although mainly, I like, the, what yeah. I wanted to ask you about has to do more with generally what's been going on with you, which is, I'm very curious. I've been out of like the scene. Like, my psyche? Like, because like, it seems like you have definitely... No, 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 I'm saying, well, okay, so yes, but that's not what I would do in an interview. Okay. <laughs> interview, we'd be professional about this. Okay, well, like, uh, ask specific questions. My so specific that, yeah. question is, okay. what sort of... I, like I've seen that your play has in, like improved a lot. What yeah. was the biggest change that happened since last time I left? Was it because I left? Did did that Yoshi shaped hole um, now let you feel, finally find I think, form? I think I I just like I didn't under I didn't really understand neutral and I just kind of like pressed yeah, buttons. Like I, I I just like I would I would just like approach with my short hop double bear and if it didn't work that would be it. So the two things that I started doing are focusing on neutral and focusing on combos, which I guess is the whole game, but, like, I, I, like, went into the lab and, like, made sure that, like, I could do, like, pretty much anything that all the other Marios are doing, and that's been pretty good for the most part, um, but then I also just, like, took a really big step back and said, all right, Paul, your neutral is ass, you need to walk, you need to jab, you need to tilt, you need to go slow and condition your opponent into grabs and stuff, yeah. That's basically it. Like, I, I just was really critical with myself. And I was like, Paul, you're ass. You've been playing this game for too long to be ass. And now I'm not ass, I guess. No, you're still pretty ass. For nah, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'll, I'll still criticize myself. <laughs> no, no, it's, uh, it's cool to see. I mean, uh... Oh, and another big thing is I stopped trying to worry about covering bad matchups with secondaries. I thought about I thought about I, that I thought about bringing back Fox in in all three of those sets, but I didn't do it. I even thought about going Diddy Kong uh, when I took him to FD. So my Diddy Kong's okay. I mean, but, the thing but is, like yeah. I've been like really on on the on on the mindset of like uh, I won't improve until I improve as Mario and there's no reason to use anyone else because Mario can do everything. Yeah. And it's that kind of confidence you need in your character to get a lot better. The second you start second guessing yourself, you're not gonna improve. It's pretty nice. Though. Yeah, that was nice. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I, I personally agree with that. I yeah. mean, I play Yoshi. I'm, I, not, yeah, I'm no, not even no. as high I, up on the tier I remember, list as I remember you your are. Bowser for the cloud matchup. My Bowser and, for the cloud matchup. And it's gone was, now. It's gone. Yeah, now it's gone. It's gone. I mean, like, I was playing friendlies with Cash Stream and I. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, you know, just counterplay. We, we've been there. We've yeah, been no, there's there. kind of. If anything, we I'm know actually, bad matches. I feel you know them worse, but like we know them. The thing, the funny thing is, for me, I feel like I finally um, what's it called? I finally uh, graduated into a special tier. And yeah. That special tier is Yoshi's that think that Diddy is their worst matchup. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like Cloud still sucks, and like yeah. Cloud is more triggering Corn, than Diddy. Corn also sucks. Bayo kind of sucks. Like, Bayo, I don't mind actually. Okay, that's cool. I will take Bayo over any of those other characters. Must be nice. Easily. 
Well, no, it's not good. It's just that I, 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 I know, I know, I know. I'm Maybe just, I'm just been so that. conditioned to bad matchups <laughs> that yeah. I see a Bayo and I'm like, oh, at least I get to do something. Yeah. But anyway. Although I guess I feel that too, because like I much prefer fighting like a losing matchup where like I have an understanding of like what to do versus like a mid tier or low tier where I'm like, shit, I could just get bodied. Um, but anyways, yeah, yeah, that, that's completely yeah. off topic. Now, uh, yeah, it's it's on topic. In a way, yeah. <laughs> but uh, like, yeah. what I wanted, the next thing I want to ask is like, we're starting to get close to the end. We're approaching, a, your funeral is fast approaching. It is. So, uh, I what am are dying. Yeah. Rahul Missed. killed part of me today. Because he reset bracket. Doesn't it feel good to not lose after brackets reset, though? I wouldn't know I the mean, feeling. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, like, I felt the feeling before, and yeah, I guess it's just relief, really. Yeah, yeah, it feels good. I'll set up. Yeah. Um, so, but, uh, Anyway, um, yeah. I was like, so what do you think is the future? Like, I know that you are not going to be, you know, running the stream anymore. This um, is actually just so that I could. Know. Sure, yeah. Um, I think it's pro. Wow. <laughs> I think it, like, like, Sam graduates in the fall, so that's a little hard. But, like, it really is just, like, who wants to take up the mantle. And the thing is, Smash Switch is about to come out, so it, it couldn't be a better time for, like, a new beginning altogether. So, that's a good point. I, I, I would love to see how it goes, but I'm going to be watching from the sidelines because I still want to live in New York. I basically moved here and I'm looking for jobs here. Um, so, I'll still come to a. jobs in like, computer programming yeah. or is it like. In computer science, technical consulting, and video game development. Okay. Video game development being obviously the pipe dream, especially because in New York there's not a lot for that. But, you know, I'm, I'm looking all over the place for jobs. Hey, Chris. Hey, what's. Uh, give me a rundown of how many brackets. You have to get a job. Okay, we'll get a look at bracket. We'll get the look see here. You got it, Sam. Uh, so rundown for bracket. I played Itai. Last time I played Itai, I tried using my Meta Knight and I got blown up. And then we had the closest game three where I barely won. Uh, and then this, this time, time I was like, I'm not gonna sleep on him. Uh, and I forced out him. So I, I, I just like played versus DK. And then I played versus Leon. And I told him don't SD. And then he SD game one. Uh, and game two oh, was just kind of. I long. missed that. Well, that set. Yeah, I told him don't SD, and then I stole his jump with a back air, and he didn't realize it. Oh, that one. Yeah. I was there for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, and then when I when I was watching Rahul versus Cast Stream, I was really worried because uh, I was like, I don't want to play versus Rahul because we played in Tish yesterday, and he tried three characters on me. He tried Doc, which the last time he played Doc versus my mom, he actually won. But like, I, I won those games, so he like didn't use Doc, and then he used Bayo, and they were like going back and forth, and then he accidentally used. Mewtwo, because he was using Mewtwo versus Sam, and he kept on Mewtwo on the character select, and he started washing with Mewtwo. So I was like, I don't want to fight as Mewtwo. But at the same time, last night, I like really thought about like what I need to do in case I have to fight as Mewtwo. Yeah. That matchup's hard. It's really hard. It's, it's like a 55-45, but it feels so hard for some reason. It might be something I'm doing. I'm definitely going to review the crap out of these VODs. Well, one thing I'd say about that is that yeah. if you're working on, like, focusing on your neutral, mm -hmm. Mewtwo's neutral is just so cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's the... It, yeah. Like, it, it's, this is, it's a great that's, like, tool the reason, to learn. That's the reason yeah. why, like, for instance, I no longer... That, why I have a bigger problem with Diddy than with Cloud is mm -hmm. because I've spent a lot of time focusing on my neutral. Right. And because of that, I don't play as I should against Diddy Kong. That makes because sense. against Diddy Kong, it's like, you know, you want to stay on top of him. You want to pressure him. You don't yes. want to give him a chance to pull banana. Exactly. If you want, and if, if he pulls you it, you have to grab it or remove it immediately. Yeah. And, In and the and safest like, way possible. And, like, as opposed to, like, my current style is more like, I'll take whatever I can, right. then and reset then, to then, neutral. Uh, fuck New Jersey. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, so, Mewtwo is kind of similar where, like, I don't know, I would actually be willing to, uh, maybe on my own stream, plug, I'll uh, analyze your yeah. sets I'll, I'll come in there and we'll, we'll have it back and forth. Yeah. Ooh. And, um... Um, but yeah, and that could be that could be just like because if I were to guess, I think that's what it is. That you're focusing more on the neutral, which means that you would like for instance take stage position, or you would just back off and play a little bit safer, yeah. which gives him the chance to like you know your punish game has gotten really good. You know you have like amazing combos, so the fact that like you know if you're afraid to commit to those mm -hmm. because of air dodge or forward air or whatever, yeah. then all of a sudden you're now having to play the neutral more. And if you're not really good at neutral against Mewtwo, it sucks. That was very well said. Um, yeah. Mewtwo teaches you stuff. Patience. A lot of patience, because it's neutral is great. Uh, oh, Shadow Balls. Tell me about it. God, I... There's like a very small range where you can cape Shadow Ball without him reflecting it back, and I totally misjudged it four times in a row, and Croak started yelling at me, and I was like, yeah, you're right. I'm just gonna jump. I'm just gonna jump. I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna get away from it. Yo, was that in-game coaching? Not really, because I was thinking it myself after the second time I got hit by it. 
<laughs> but not the fourth. <laughs> not no, 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 no the I mean, at that point, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I got it, I get it, I get it. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Um, and, like, Rahul and I were even talking about it while we were playing. I was like, I need to stop oh, doing that. He was like, yeah, you should. Yeah. Um, there's some really cool combos I hit. Like, I, I did the super semi. I did a down throw, back air, air dodge, read fair. At, like, 40. That's great. It feels so good. Fuck me, too. Um, uh, yeah. I don't, I don't know if there's anything else to talk about. Yeah, this was a very small bracket, but it was also one of the hardest brackets I've ever played. I really wanted to play you. Like, I, I genuinely Wait, wanted Paul, to play you. Your bracket isn't over yet. I know. Thug Finals? It's only just Thug Finals? Thug Finals time? Dude, I lost Thug Finals last time I played it versus Dre. He wanted to play versus my Samus, because I wanted to turn into Samus. And he went Diddy, and I bodied his Diddy, and then he went Bayo, and I exploded. It was terrible. <laughs> Never want to do it again. Um, but yeah, I think we're done here. We can do Thug Finals. All right, we can do that. I'm gonna need a controller. Cool. I'm gonna need to commentate this. You're gonna commentate it? All right. Yeah. Bet.